Listen, you know what time it is. We've got six things you should know. And first up on our hump day list is a question. Have you ever been so angry or upset that you wish that you could just scream and break everything around you? Yes. Well, a new business has opened up in Northeast Ohio that allows you to actually smash away your stress. So these things called rage rooms have been popping up across the country. They let customers break everything inside as a way to let off some steam. This one in Parma will let you spend five minutes inside a room with a crowbar and a baseball bat smashing TVs glasses and old electronics for only $15. That's nice. Participants are required to sign an injury waiver and wear protective gear. Doesn't it, shouldn't they be wearing helmets? I feel like those face masks aren't really doing a ton. Not helping. With real anger, we need to develop some other skills, ways of quieting our bodies, quieting our minds, being better communicators. Offer a 20 minute deal worth $50 with bigger items to smash. Experts warn that while it may feel good to vent all the pent up emotions, it will also be short lived. I'll definitely be in for the 20 minute deal. I don't think five minutes would cut it. Do you still have to pay if you bring your own stuff to smash? If I bring my old that's TV? A good, yeah, that's a very good question. Just to rent the room for a few <laughs> minutes, probably. And our number two today is Spanish car maker unveiled an all electric two seater concept vehicle Monday at a technology expo in Spain. The car is named Minimo. It's a product of the Spanish company Seat. The company says the car will be hyper-connected to the digital world and offer interchangeable batteries. Yeah, the battery swapping system gives the little car a range up to 62 miles. The CEO of Seat says Minimo is designed to meet the challenges of city driving, including tight parking spaces. And the next version of the car expected to include autonomous driving technology. The company says the car will be able to recognize if the driver is 18 years old or younger and reduce the time top speed. That's a tiny car. It is a tiny little car. It only gets 62 miles. I though. don't even think I could fit myself and my purse in there, let alone, you know what I'm saying? You, your purse, and your phone would not fit <laughs> in that car. And number three on our list is all about connecting you, and it might not ha and it might not be an improved battery or better camera, but it's the world's first smartphone that can bend and fold into a compact device. Tech company Royal is the first to unveil its foldable phone to the general public, the Flex Pi or Pay made its big debut at the Mobile World Congress in Barcelona. So with a 7.8 inch screen and sticker price of $1,300, you will not be getting that for Christmas. The Android <laughs> phone promises the screen of a small tablet in a pocket sized device. The screens are in full color, features an ultra thin display, actually thinner than paper, and giant tech brands are hoping the bendable screens will give a boost and revive declining sm smartphone markets. That's insane. Yeah. Number four on our list, TripAdvisor is out with its Traveler's Choice Awards for the best beaches in America. For the second year in a row, Florida's Clearwater Beach tops the list as the number one beach in the United States. So of the 25 best beaches in the U.S., 40% are in Florida and almost 30% are in Hawaii. A Lahaina Beach, Hawaii Beach, takes number the two spot and Panama City Beach comes in at the number three spot while St. Pete Beach and Pensacola Beach round out the top five. That's just not fair to look at right now. The beach Sounds so <laughs> nice. And the five on our list has us excited, and that's because Target is preparing to launch its new exclusive line of California wines with a price you can raise your glass to. Yeah, the line called The Collection is sourced from the Delicato family vineyards. There are five varieties to choose from, including Cabernet Sauvignon, Red Wine Blend, Rose, Pinot Grigo, and Chardonnay. It's $9.99 a bottle, and you'll find the new wines on Target shelves nationwide starting March 3rd. I believe that's Sunday. That's so exciting. And six and last on our list, are you going on a vacation in the next couple of months? Mm, you don't have to be on a school schedule to take a spring break. Liz McLaughlin goes over some surprising travel trends that won't break the bank. More adults are taking a spring break from work. Millennials in particular, according to a rise in traffic on travel apps, including Hopper. Millennials have said that they value experiences over physical goods. Um, so we're definitely seeing more and more people trying to travel. Millennials are also packing in more vacations each year, opting for shorter, more frequent trips over a longer vacation. One way they're doing that, leisure travel, combining business and leisure by extending a business trip over the weekend. By doing that, they save the employer money because the flights are often cheaper uh, coming back and then they can have basically a free vacation. Florida hotspots and beach destinations may come to mind for spring breakers, but more people are opting for international travel ahead of the busy summer season. 
Paris, London, they're in the top five for um, most track destinations. Taking bigger trips in part because it's more affordable to get there. It's actually the lowest it's been in three years in terms of flight pricing. You'll have to plan ahead to get the best deal. Prices shoot up around 40% in the two weeks before departure. But when booking your hotel, procrastination can pay. If you're flexible, if you can be spontaneous, um, you can get rewarded with really fantastic deals. The hotels work the exact opposite of flights, so the more you wait, the more you save. According to Hotel Tonight, the lowest prices are the day of check-in, if you can wait that long. Liz McLaughlin, NBC News. I'm going to put you on the spot. If you mm -hmm. could go anywhere right now and don't say home, where would you go? I come from a vacation resort town, though, so it is kind of nice for me to go home. But uh, if I could go anywhere after watching all that, anywhere. probably Florida, because we've been teased with the beach here for the last... I'm trying to get Josh to expand his horizons and want to travel abroad, mm -hmm. but you're not. we're not there yet. Going to Canada this summer. Okay. That counts. That's all right. You want me to go just I far away. I want you away. to go to Spain you're to go very trying far Trying to get away. me as far away as possible here. <laughs> That's not true. What about you if you Never go Never leave. I'd probably go to Spain. Yeah? Yeah. Because okay. I can speak the language, so I feel like I wouldn't be... You'd fit in pretty yeah. easily, be able to find your way around. <laughs> Maybe. Makes sense. <laughs> Don't go anywhere. After the break, we're talking back posture with the experts.